I'm Monica Schneider. Thank you for joining us. We're well, topping our news here at CLTV. A day after Dominic's workers rejected a contract proposal here in Chicagoland and authorized a strike, the company has made a move of its own, halting construction on both some new Dominic's going up and also older stores being modernized. Meantime, some of Dominic's other workers whose contracts aren't up wonder what their fellow co-workers are doing, especially if the company is serious about its threat to close for good if the workers strike. CLTV's Mary Frances Bragel is at a Dominic's in Oak Lawn with more. Mary? Monica, this vote is now having a trickle-down effect. For instance, the deli employees, they're not part of the same union as the rest of the Dominic's employees, and they were ineligible to vote on Sunday. But they will feel the same effects as those employees who voted to strike, and that is leaving some deli employees bitter. More than 12 years, Allison Seehofer has worked in the Dominic's deli department. She was not eligible to vote on Sunday because Seehofer is a member of the meat cutters union. But she will lose her job if Dominic's shuts its doors. The morale is horrible at work. And, you know, people are just, the meat cutters are looking at the, the cashiers and the grocery clerks going, what are you doing? <laughs> what most of the nearly 9,000 Dominic's employees did was reject a four-year proposal by the company because union members said the contract wasn't livable. Officials with Dominic's say they were shocked by the members' vote to strike. They viewed it as being a pretty reasonable, modest offer when they sort of understood how it would affect them uh, with wage rates and health care benefits. However, the tales, Seehofer says, of intimidation and unprofessionalism may have contributed to the strike vote, as well as talk by union members that Dominic's would not shut its doors if employees went on strike. I really think that they are really just telling them, you know, they're bluffing, they're bluffing, they're bluffing, they're bluffing. We are not bluffing on that issue. I mean, if we can't get our labor's contract here, a restructured labor contract that allows us to operate successfully here, we will have no choice, and it's not a choice that we want to make, but we won't have a choice but to shut down. Union officials issued a statement that said the allegations are untrue and unfounded. The union goes on to say that the vote count was conducted in the exact way it should have been conducted. In the meantime, both sides are expected to go back to the bargaining table to avert a walkout. And that's giving Allison Seehofer and her husband, Kurt, some hope. I don't think it's going to happen. I pray to God that it just doesn't happen. I pray to God it doesn't happen. Now, when the two sides are headed back to the bargaining table for undetermined. In Oak Lawn, Mary Frances Bragel, CLTV News. Thank you. From 40 cents.